Welcome to the Vibrant Stories series from the East Ayrshire Vibrant Communities Communities team. And it's basically just an opportunity for like-minded people to come together who want to improve their town or their village. Although there's a steering group, it's not just the voice of a few folk. Basically the survey process um, allows every member of the community to see what they like about the community, dislike and maybe suggestions for the future. In order that the action plan actually represents uh, the people of the community, uh, there was a public voting event. Uh, and after this, the main issues for the five-year action plan were decided. I thought it was just part of the Cartridge Community Council, to be honest with you. And then I realised it was a bit improving the village. Um, and I was all for that because it's looking a bit tired, a wee hometown. And I'm quite passionate of a bit helping. To improve, there's so much need to improve buildings, pathways, regards to dog fouling, um, and just like, well, that's been what 19 months or so we've been we've been doing this, um, and we've we've came a long way, and already we've had a good um, interaction with, with other groups and other uh, members of the community. I got involved with Cartridge Community Action Plan because I was passionate about the village. I was already involved with the Community Council and several other groups uh, prior to that. So I felt as if I had some skills and knowledge um, about the village that I could possibly bring to that group. But I also was really passionate about the natural environment as well as the village appearance and all the other themes that we actually chose. Um, and I wanted to be part of shaping that. That's part of my career anyway, so I really wanted to try and bring some of those skills and, and help the village. I would say, I would say, it was a bit low, to be honest. We did, we, we did have one or two things that we were doing at the time. We had just recently started the Make, Catch and Sparkle, but the Community Action Plan I just knew it would have been something to support that, not just support it, but enhance it and, and make it even better than it was. Um, not just for community spirit, but for all other things, as I mentioned earlier. For a number of, for a number of years, the groups of Carter, instead of working with, with one another, they've been working against one another. Now, for me, we've now formed a successful partnership. So we're now working in partnership with the Community Trust, the Community Action Plan, and the Community Council. We're working in successful events together. As I said earlier, we did run a very successful fun day for the kids on the 10th of September, which was held up at the Games Hall. It was also a very successful litter pick and clean up of the coach road and the church steps carried out. And that was very successful with a lot of, a lot of different groups being involved. There was people for the Community Council, people for, people for the Community Action Plan and people for the Community Trust actively involved in getting that work carried out. And as the work said, the, the results are there for anybody to see. It looks great. It's probably the best that area has looked in the last 20 years. It's really good to see it like that. For myself, I've been trying hard for a number of years to try, to try and pull the groups together in the village. And I think we've now got a successful partnership in place. Albeit we're just, uh, we're just at the tip of the iceberg at the moment. We've got a lot of work to do just before we're fully integrated and we get everybody fully integrated into, the, into our concept really. Yeah. But we're getting there. Obviously through the Community Council as well, uh, which I'm on the, the committee for that as well, um, and the Trust, we're actually all pulling together. We've had a fun day to date, all organised and run by ourselves, and it was a success. We've got the Make Catherine Sparkle event which is coming up, so again we're pulling together for that. All things, we need the place looking clean and tidy, and then obviously making the event happened and this year it's going to be bigger and better. Oh, it's certainly been a, it's been marvellous to be honest with you. Um, people have really taken it to heart um, since the launch, um, probably even just prior to that because people were hearing about it. 
because we were doing the survey, so people were knowledgeable about it. They were contributing their ideas and their their support towards it. Um, so the action plan basically just stirred up a lot of enthusiasm, and motivation in people. People wanted to be part of what was happening, and they did. And ever since that, the only part, since uh, two or three weeks since we've launched it, we probably ticked off quite a few of our uh, to-do list. We've got a really good collaboration working between the Community Trust, Country Community Council and Country Community Action Plan. It's great to see these groups working together and there's now been a number of events held. And between the Trust and the Community Council, there was a very successful fund day run on the 10th of September. We're now looking towards the Make Catch and Sparkle 2017 project, which will be the Christmas lighting and Christmas project for this year. Well, I I'll actually give you the example of the Coach Road and the Church Steps, because that's the most recent one. And uh, basically, we have collaborated with Community Council, the Community Trust, and it's all on the back of the Community Action Plan. Because the Community Action Plan has, the community have identified what they want in the, that theme. So we need to try and bring all of these groups together and make sure that we go down the road that the community want. And that's the most important thing. So there has been a lot of motivation and a lot of enthusiasm. And we need to harness that and encourage that. And um, I, I just, for me and for the people that have been involved, the, the, the community spirit, which is another theme that we've got, has it, it's just exploded, to be honest. We've had people as old as 78 come down and help in the clean-up days. We've had young children, five, six-year-old, want to be involved. You know, we have spoken with the teachers after the event and they have praised the, the children at the school too. And all of that enthusiasm is like a roller coaster. And it's just everything, you know, everyone wants to be part of it and it's, it's, it's a wonderful feeling. I feel really proud to be part of it and to help the community. I think the Action Road Action Plan has kick-started the process uh, within the garden and I'm really, really con confident that this will restore Catherine's moniker of uh, Queen of the West. <laughs> well, last night I identified all the areas in Catherine where we have highlighted possible improvements. So we've got maps for them, we've worked with the council. So what we need to do is we need to get a plan of action within that theme and we are going to identify all the things that we're going to do. We're going to put them in a calendar and we are going to tick them off every other one. So we'll work with the groups, we'll have people responsible for different areas so that everyone feels involved and everyone feels valued. Because I think people like responsibility and I think they need responsibility and we're going to work with the schools and the community trust again and the community council especially because they've been really supportive. And so we're looking forward to the future, but um, I have to thank Bible Communities especially because they have been wonderful throughout the whole process. We just couldn't have done it without them. The support and advice that they gave us was second to none. You can find out more information about Vibrant Communities and the work of the Communities team at the following links.